Hey guys, this is Pokedad again, and we have some breaking news today. Uh, if you haven't heard already, uh, Lysander's trump card is now banned. Uh, as of June 15th, you will not be able to play Lysander's trump card in any tournaments. Uh, so this is crazy. It went into effect very quickly. Uh, there might there will be a few nationals slash regionals that might still get to use it but for the most part people are going to be uh, not be able to use it uh, the reason they give for um, banning it is it eliminates one of your opponent's victory conditions which is you know decking out running out of the cards in your deck uh, so you know that kind of makes sense even though technically you still possibly could deck out if Lysander's trump card was prized or if you misplayed but for the most part that's correct uh, it allows repeated use of powerful trainer cards I think uh, you know Seismitoad, Execute, uh, Trevenant those are all real powerful because they can constantly use crushing hammers lasers to just destroy you uh, it allows uh, drawing through your deck quickly with minimal repercussions so now I have to say it but Shaman EX is probably gonna take a hit you probably see the value of those go down uh, and it extends the time of the battles so yeah we not only the battles but the extends the time of a turn like one turn might take 10 minutes for a person uh, so it just in a way, it makes sense. Um, I'm I'm kind of mixed emotion on this because I think Lysander's Trump card is a good card to have, but at the same time, I totally understand the reasoning for it. So anyway, guys, uh, you're gonna see uh, execute uh, executor decks, Seismitoad decks, um, Trevenant decks. They're all gonna take a hit with this, but you will see some decks that will be happy for this number one is night march i mean lysander's trump card was one of the few cards that could help you counteract it it's now gonna go skyrocket high on the list in the meta i believe uh also flareon though flareon can be very fast and both night march and flareon are gonna have to be uh careful not to deck out themselves so those are two, but I do think this is going to be good in some senses because it's going to allow other decks to shine. Um, I do think Mega Rayquaza probably take gets an advantage here, even though it's fast and they have to be careful not to deck out. Uh, they're not going to have to worry about constant crushing hammers over and over and over again. So I think Mega Rayquaza gets a big boost from this. Uh, anyway, so guys, I'm reporting this. I just found out about it. It only came out just an hour ago, the information. So uh, anyway, if you have any comments, tell me what you think about uh, this. Do you think it's a good thing or is it a bad thing? Uh, I'd like to hear what you have to say. Hit like and subscribe if you haven't. And guys, I'll talk to you later, bringing you some new, new news as soon as I find out about it. Thanks. Bye.